and welcome back to more World and Club, everybody. In the last episode, we made it over here, and we're about to roll up there. Let's see if this works. Oh, he just... okay. Are there more coming? Um, I have to actually run like this. Okay. I can't. I could have made that, I think, but damn it. I really thought I was going to get to me, and if, I, if I'm not standing right on top of the box, it's going to kill me, you know, the water coming up, so. Definitely couldn't risk that. So now we have to wait again, and let's see what happens up there. I mean, I'm pretty sure we're close to her. We've got to be close to her. Move it. Hello. Oh, I thought I was done. F
Weird. Let's go in this cave. Fast. No. Dead end? Go. Okay. Made it through there. Took a while, but I mean, some of the puzzles might be. What am I doing? Wait a minute. Oh, I guess I can go through lava. Cool. My God, how many hits do you take? Well, it's about time. That thing took like five hits. <laughs> wow. Alright, let's see. What's next? Gotta get out of that. How did you all catch up to me so fast and get to that lava? I have no idea. Thank you so much! Rachel! Jenu! Mochan! I'll be telling this story to my great-grandchildren! You guys are always saving me! It's the least I could do. And besides, I'm the one that should be thankful. Huh? Me? What did I do? Well, I always cause problems. But you guys showed me even I can be useful. <laughs> this guy. Ah, You're so adorable, Mochan! Aw, shucks! Stop it! You're making me blush! Oh! It's Rachel and the others! Took you long enough. First amnesia, and then hallucination. What next? It's a long story. We can explain later. Sure, you can explain while we're soaking in the hot spring. This is Beppu, right? It's famous for its hot springs. Too bad we couldn't find any people, but we did find a secret hot spring. We're going in there? All of us? Together? You goofball! Not all of us together! Boys and girls will be separated, of course. W well, if that's the case... Yay! I'm all for it! Since we're here, I want everyone to at least try my hometown's hot springs! Well, we're all worn out from walking. Yeah, a good soak should help our sore muscles. Okay then, what are we waiting for? Hi. I'll scrub your back. Oh, um, okay. Hey, Rachel. You were just thinking about us in the hot spring, weren't you? Jeez, Rachel. Don't be so crude. Well, anyway, let's go. Now show us that secret hot spring. That takes care of uh, that act. Cool. And let's go ahead and move on to it says camp here. Hoita area.
Why the long face, Jenu? Well, um... Aniki, did you enjoy the hot springs? Oh. No answer means you must be feeling the same way. Like something is missing, right? <sighs> Kansai, Chuko, Nyoro, Tatsun, and Pochi. Together, we're the Go-Getters Club. But if just one of us is missing, we're not the Go-Getters Club anymore. Yeah, I agree. Mochan, even though I'm always getting teased by everyone, without that teasing, I feel somehow lonely. It's kind of like spicy Karamuchu chips without the spice. Yeah, I totally get what you mean. <sighs> you want to go to Fukuoka? No. Knowing how fast they walk, they'd be way past Fukuoka by now. But that's if there isn't anybody in Fukuoka, right? Yeah. Yo, Kansai, Chuko, Nyoro, Tatsun, Hochi. Can you hear me? We're crossing over to Shikoku. We'll be arriving in Ehime first. So, if you guys can hear this, then you guys should also. Pick bro. Those walkie-talkies only have a range of a few kilometers at most. Oh, I get it. Huh? Tatsun mentioned it. Our walkie-talkies also work on a shortwave band. So what? Shortwave EM waves can reflect off the Earth's ionosphere and travel over a long distance. So that means the Fukuoka group might have heard what Aniki said. Well, if we're lucky, yeah. That means there's a chance that we'll see the others again. I said it depends on how lucky we are. Walkie-talkies aren't cell phones. Cell? Phone? Oh, I totally forgot something really important. Pi found this. Whoa! A real cell phone! Do you know how to use it, Aniki? Yeah. Let me see. Oh! It's still working! But the battery's almost dead. Wait. What the? Huh? Let me just check something. What year is it? Why are you asking that? Just tell me. It should be 1995, right? Right. But why does it show... Well, that was for sure interesting. Big, uh, you know, also, what are these missing things here? I mean, I can't select them, but okay. Alright, moving on to the story. Uh, let's see, but that was kind of weird. 1986 now. So it's a little bit more into the future, or maybe time just passed that fast? I don't know. I wonder if Kansai and the others heard our message. Beats me. I couldn't care less about them. Jeez. You sound like a robot with no emotions. Even robots are nicer. I mean, if he was a robot, all you'd have to do is reprogram him. <sighs> oh, the old silent act again, huh? Brother or not, I've just about had it with you. I'm going to hack into City Hall and delete you from our family registry. I'm a genius programmer. That would be a piece of cake for me. Could you change my status to married, then? Hi. Uh, what's up? Oh, nothing. 
Anyway, we got bigger stuff to worry about. Like... Like the year, right? The cell phone must have been broken. There's no way it's 1996. Maybe when we were sleeping in that pod? Pod? The capsule-like thing we were in at the amusement park. You say we were in there for a year? I mean, you've seen it in movies before, right? Frozen in a pod, and then you wake up. Years later. Oh, the whole cold sleep thing? Oh, chopped cabbage, carrots, and mayonnaise! That's not cold sleep. That's cold slaw! Lame. Yeah, that one was pure lame. No! old too yeah we've all seen it too many times anyway if you think about it it all makes sense right for example how everyone in the town disappeared there's no way it could happen in a day but if a whole year passed but who'd do that and why maybe while we were sleeping we got turned into cyborgs! And that's why Mochon and Rachel have superpowers! And maybe everyone else has a hidden power too! That's so crazy that I'd normally just laugh it off. But with all these weird things happening... Come on, not you too, Jeno. But even if that was true, that doesn't answer Aniki's question. Who'd do it? Good point. You, you all, what are you doing? Ah! Who's this? He looks strange, but... Yeah, but he's a human at least. Human? Human? A human, a human, a human! A human! Ah!
Story's just getting better and better, right? <laughs> Alright, let's go in here and get a couple more cutscenes in that case. Let's see what happens. Tell us. I'm scared to hear it, but we can't go on without knowing what happened. I understand. Let me start from the conclusion. Mankind? Everyone? Has been wiped out. I'm afraid it is, as unfortunate as that may be. I don't believe it! You're making that up! I don't believe it either! Me neither! Calm down, everyone. Let's listen to what he has to say. While you were all unconscious, the world was plunged into a terrible war. Weapons were employed that had never been seen before. You saw some strange plants and animals on your way here, didn't you? They are all the result of those new weapons. The apocalypse came in the blink of an eye. Once those weapons were unleashed, it marked the end of humanity. Those of us here are the last survivors. So, this has something to do with that meteor? Meteor? We have no records of that. The world was destroyed by those new weapons, not by a meteor. But isn't that weird? If those weapons were used, how come there are still survivors in this facility? That was due to the blessings of Mike. Mike? It is the god we believe in. Mike answers the prayers we offer each day. So you're saying you were saved because you believe in that god? Yes. I understand how you feel. It's hard to believe hearing all of this so suddenly, but everything I've told you just now, it's the truth. You can ask the other followers, they will tell you the same. Anyway, you must be tired after your long journey. Go, take a well-earned rest. We've prepared a place for you to sleep. Well, what do we do now? I have no idea. Maybe we should go and ask what the other followers have to say. Maybe we can get some new information. Yeah, we can talk about our next move after that. Okay then, let's all split up and see what we can learn. Got it! Hmm. We're off to a late start. We should start asking around too. Come on, let's go! What happened to the world, anyway? It was a war. Everything was...
created? Not created. Created. I think she's trying to say created. How did it go, everyone? Did you learn anything new? We talked to lots of people, but they all basically said the same thing. Yeah, same for us. Mankind was destroyed by the war. You are alive by the grace of Mike. So I guess that means the Master told the truth. Why come to that conclusion? They're a group that all believes the same thing. Maybe they're all trying to trick us. Well, it didn't seem like that to me at all. It's the opposite for me. I can't trust the people here. Yeah. How could all of mankind be wiped out while we were unconscious? It's a bunch of bull. Maybe I shouldn't say anything because I'm a newcomer. But I think we should leave for Tokyo right now. Yeah, I agree. Me too. Me too. I have to see what happened to Tokyo with my own eyes. Tatsu, how far from here to Tokyo? Approximately 700 kilometers, perhaps 800 following the roads. It was 1,200 kilometers from Kagoshima to Tokyo. So we still have about two thirds of the way to go. It's impossible to go on walking like this. Yeah, and besides, We'd be walking through hordes of strange monsters, too. Do you really think that mankind was wiped out? Of course I don't believe it. I'm just saying it's going to be impossible for us to walk back. It'd be better to stay here while we plan our strategy. What do you mean, strategy? I'm saying we need time to plan our next move. I agree with Kansai and Chuko. It's safe here, and it'd be smart to stay here at the facility for a while. Yeah! At least we aren't hard-pressed for food if we stay here! That's all you care about! I honestly think that both choices are fine. As long as we're all together. Isn't that what it says in the Go-Getters Club anthem? Even if the world ends, the Go-Getters Club will stay together! Even if the world ends... The Go-Getters Club will stay together! Anyway, anyway... How about you, Rachel? Yeah, what do you think we should do? All right, time for a second decision here that we gotta make. Return to Tokyo or stay at the cult facility? Well, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna choose go. Let's do it. <sighs> right. I knew Mr. Rachel would understand. What are you saying? You should reconsider. It looks like you still haven't made up your minds. I know. You're arguing about whether to stay here or go back to Tokyo. Am I right? <clears throat> Why don't you listen to a story? It might help you decide. What story might that be? The teachings of the Great Mike. If you hear the Great Mike's teaching, the fogginess of your hearts will be cleared. Here it comes. I knew it. Sorry. We don't need- We have already made up our minds! All right. Let's go. Huh? Wait, guys! Just wait a sec! The Go-Getters Club will stay together. But... 
door. So before I end this video, I would like to encourage you to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications if you enjoyed the video. I do post multiple gaming videos daily, so be sure to check out my channel. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great day.